Meadows and we're coming from Oregon right now. We're driving to Grants Pass to visit some friends. And, uh, it's interesting because today I was I was thinking about something that's a little different than, than usual. And it's about acceptance. And I wrote this book when I was in third grade. It was called The Gigantic Bee. And it's about this bee that basically gets excommunicated from his tribe. And then he travels the world in search of a new one. In the very end, he finds it. And it's so funny that I would write something at, in third grade at eight or nine years old about something that's so foreign to most people, and that's acceptance. There's a lot of people out there right now that don't feel accepted, they don't feel wanted, and they don't feel loved. That's one of the main reasons that we moved to Mexico, is because we decided we were going to find a place that was unlike the place that we've been existing and living our entire lives. A place where we can harbor a place of acceptance, of love, of understanding. Now the truth is, is that every single human being on this planet has the potential for good or evil. It's like that old Native American proverb, they talk about which wolf wins, the good or the bad wolf, in a fight, and it's the one that you feed. It's the same concept that we're talking about here. We live in this beautiful world and we have the capability to do anything, but we have other people telling us that we're not good enough, or we're not strong enough, or we're not intelligent enough. And those are the naysayers. Those are the people that they got lost along the way somewhere. And they're not living up to their potential. They have the potential to create and to live and to exist as well in a positive light. And we're in this place right now, this very special place for humanity. We're at the precipice for humanity. And what that means is we have two different directions we can go. We can go for the one that we've been going this entire time where we're killing each other and causing war and famine and discontent and heartache and greed and everything else that you can think of, smashing planes into buildings and all that garbage. Or we can go the other route, which is full of love and acceptance and hope and caring and understanding and all the things that make us human. For many years in my life, I've been I've been remiss to call myself a human because I know what humans do and what they are. But that's not the truth. That's what they want us to believe. All you have to do to make a change in the world is start believing in yourself and live for the goals and aspirations and the dreams that you have, the things that you want to become. The people are going to tell you that you can't do it. They're going to tell you that you're insane. And the funny thing is, is that you laugh in their face. You don't have to laugh in their face. You can just go and just not listen to them. You know what's right for you. So go do it. Be accepted. Accept yourself first. And then watch how everybody else accepts you. We're, we're magnets. The gratitude that you give is the gratitude that you will receive. If you live in hate and anguish and pain and discontent, you will live that lifestyle. If you live in where you don't have it, you don't feel like you ever have enough, you'll never have enough. So, I think that every single person that sees this can choose to make a change today. One thing for the better. And it doesn't have to be everything every single day. You're taking tiny steps. It's just like the 12-step program, only this is steps for the rest of your life. And they will echo for eternity. Not in just your life, but everybody else's. So accept yourself today. Forgive yourself for all the things that have been done to you and that you've done. And these are hard things to do. We'll talk about those a little bit later, but the biggest one here is that it, start accepting yourself. You are good enough. You are beautiful. You're wonderful. You're magical. Have the courage to follow your dreams. That's all I have to say today. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Keep being awesome. And we'll talk to you soon. Mwah.